Hey everyone, Kyle Mike here from MLive.com. Joined by Justin Rogers. Um, Lions obviously uh, started the season off 1-0 and spirits are high, but today, Justin, the, there's reports now that Bill Bentley's torn an ACL. Um, obviously a, a, a sour note coming out of that game. What do you make of, of the situation? Well, Lions are obviously going to need to add a cornerback. You know, I don't know if that's going to be... Champ Bailey, I know that's the, the popular name on everybody's tongue, but Bill Bentley's a nickelback, Champ Bailey's not. If you add Bailey, you're, you're talking about a, a complete overhaul, a shuffle of every, every part in the back end. And I don't know if that's what the Lions really want to do, but uh, you know they need to add somebody, and they need to add somebody soon to get them caught up in the playbook. Uh, you know The nickelback is, is an aggressive position. There's, there's blitz packages involved with that position, so um, you know they're, they're going to have to move quickly to, to get you know, fresh blood in there. Yeah, it's such an important position now in the NFL, too, with so many four and five wide receiver sets and so forth. The Lions were almost exclusively in it um, against the Giants this week, and Bill Bentley, I thought, was an important piece of that secondary. It was already a thin secondary, uh, given the problems performance-wise last year, and then in the offseason, you know, didn't draft a cornerback until the fourth round, didn't add a, anyone major during free agency, just Cassius Vaughn, um, who's one of the reserves on the team, and then you cut Chris Houston during the offseason, and that leaves the Lions pretty short-handed. Only had five on the first uh, 53-man roster and so they were already thin normally you keep six uh, on a roster and they're already thin now you lose Bentley um, you know it's on Nevin Lawson the rookie and the, the nickel I know we were both pretty impressed with what we saw from him but there's just absolutely no depth there and I think that's a major issue for the Lions going forward especially in a, in a division that's so pass happy it's it's gonna be really interesting if they decide to roll with Lawson you know Lawson held his own against uh, Victor Cruz um, but it's just one game. You know, the way I described his preseason training camp today was nondescript. You know, he just mm. he didn't really pop. He didn't make a lot of plays. Um, I guess he wasn't getting burned badly, which is always a good thing with a cornerback if you're not hearing their name in that way. But uh, he's a rookie, and, and this team has aspirations to win. It's not just a rookie. He's a fourth-round rookie, and, and to, to thrust him into that starting role in a pretty complex scheme is – is asking a lot, so um, it'll be curious to see if they stick with that or or they go out and add somebody that's expected to fill in as a starter right away. Hindsight's always twenty twenty, but Martin May has got to be second guessing himself a little bit, at least in that retrospect uh, of of not getting a cornerback before before the fourth round in the draft and not signing one during free agency. The focus was the offense, and I understand with the Ebron pick and their logic there, um, just that he was so high on their board, and they, they thought they'd get a lot of usage out of him in their offense with Joe Lombardi, Joe Lombardi coming here and everything. But, um, you know, the consequence of all those moves is that they didn't make any star moves at cornerback, and now you lose Bill Bentley, a starter for yourself, and, and the Lions are in a tough spot. It, it might not have mattered. I mean, maybe they're they're better off because they drafted Lawson because, you know, maybe they draft a cornerback early, but he's uh, an outside guy and you're still left with that, that gaping hole at the nickel spot. So uh, at, at least Lawson is is built to play the nickelback position. Um, you can't say that about a lot of the corners, you know, Justin Gilbert and, and Darquez sure. Denard, those, those guys aren't necessarily nickel cornerbacks. That's what we got. Um, you know, obviously the Lions are feeling pretty good, but this news is concerning, and it's something the Lions will have to address as they move forward, especially, again, in the, in the division they play with some great passing attacks in Green Bay and Chicago. For, for Justin Rogers, I'm Kyle Mindcube. We're M Life. Keep it right here.